So if you don't mind, let's take it from, from the okay. fact that you feel, feel disappointed or, uh, or concerned. Okay. First and foremost, I'd like to say I think it is a blessing that the university is starting to look at this, to, to put all the effort and all the resources they are into this because it is important. I feel that it is a healing salve between our communities. Uh, my concern is that we did not know one name for these people because we really realized that they were important. And as I address my congregation, I am sure that the very people I'm talking to are relatives of some of the people who are buried in that cemetery. And I say that because we have found every time that we've really looked, there has been a connection. Uh, last year, the Smithsonian did uh, a thing on Monticello, and we found that there were several families that came from Monticello who were slaves, and their ancestors come here and worship every week. So uh, that is my concern that we did not know one name but I am encouraged because this means that now we're looking. And as we look and as we open the books and the, open the archives, I'm certain that we'll find more about this. But for us as a community, it is a good thing that these people are being remembered and honored. For I have always said they might be unknown to man, but they were known to God. And it's just important to us to continue to honor them for we stand on their shoulders. Hopefully that'll be what you need. Thank you yeah. so much. That's perfect.